broadcast is brought to you by students of Hilo High School, k Vikes Media. Aloha! Welcome to Hilo High School's live broadcast provided by K-Vikes Media. My name is Kalani Kalifakawa, a junior of Hilo High School and a current member of K-Vikes Media. And my name is Cameron Kobalar, a senior of Hilo High School and current member of K-Vikes Media. We will be your commentators for today's broadcast of BIIF Girls JV on Basketball. Today we are broadcasting at the Hilo High Gymnasium for a matchup between the Hilo High Vikings and the Kia Al Cougars. You're watching this on our YouTube or Facebook. Please like this video and share it with others. If you have not yet done so, please subscribe to our channel or follow our Facebook page at Hilo High School to get notified when we live or post the video. See our broadcasting schedule and all other athletic competition notices on our official website, HiloHigh.org. Coach Hunter Warnaka, Assistant Coach Pelican Lomo, and Adam McGuire. Kale Cougars. 
And now the whole team, the new high school Vikings, were number one, Kimine McCormack. Number two, Kairulani Spencer. Number 10, Samantha Parastao. Number 12, Ayla Ferry. And number 22, Tiana Gluck. The coach, Andrew Vaughn, and staff. Two high school white teams. And that was the team starting lineup. And on that note, please follow us. KVX Media at KVX Media on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and learn more about our program at kvikes.org. Now, do keep in mind, after this game, we are not playing up against Cougars for varsity. We are playing against the Kamehameha Warriors, and it is senior night tonight. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, senior night is definitely going to be amazing. You know, um, yep. if you don't know what senior night is, senior night is going to be like the last home game that the Hilo High Vikings will have. So Senior night is to celebrate the seniors that have been here for the team and that have, you know, ex produced excellent performances time, time after time. And, you know, we are very grateful to have them here. Yes, we are. And the game begins with... Not going to lie, Cal Warriors with in possession. Fight for the ball on the ground. Ball is passed to number 12, Adriana. Attempt three-pointer. Doesn't make it. Ball is now passed to Celeste. And that is a travel. That's the first turnover right there in the game. And the throw in is going to be caused by number 12, Kiana Gauntlet. Position of Bot Ayla Ferrari. The chant in the crowd has started. Boss passes Samantha, pass over to Kalani. Kalani goes, drives in, attempted layup again, does not get it. Number 12 for Kao Adriana rebounds the ball. Celeste has possession. Those are good looks down there during the paint. Yep. Melanie has passed the ball. She looks for an open teammate. Ball is then passed to Adriana. Pass to Celeste. Taken away by Hilo Vikings. Ball is almost lost. Double dribble called on Hilo. Unfortunate for Hilo. They lost possession of the ball. Yeah, that's a careless turnover right there. Yep. Celeste passes it to Melanie. It is then passed to Adriana, pass back to Celeste, back to Melanie. Pass to Tiani. Tiani goes for the two-point shot. Again, does not make it. Ball is now in possession of Kaolani Spencer. And it is passed to Ayala. Pass to Samantha. That was a huge travel right there. You gotta be careful for your two steps right there. Gotta count. Yep. That was five steps, I believe. I will say though, the pace of this game starting off pretty slow. And no team has scored yet, but we have to see it. Oh, that's Not a three. Total. No. Melanie has the ball. It is passed to uh, Mommy. Number 12, Adriana. Tiana tries to go for the score, but she does not get it. Possession of the ball, Spencer. Pass to Ayala. Oh, good. She, she, she was Pass careful right Tiana. there. Ball was almost um, taken away by the Kao Cougars. And that is going to be out on the Kao Cougars as they attempted to steal the ball away from Hilo. Passing it in will be Spencer. Is there a violation called? That is going to be a replay, I guess. 
Um, ball is taken away by the Cal Cougars. Melanie, and it's taken back by Kilo Vikings. Pass to Kiana, and it is out as she tries to get the ball. That was a great read by Urbina, but then the Hilo High Vikings took it right back. Yep. Unfortunately, couldn't capitalize on that. Ball is passed to Melanie. She tries to drive in. Celeste passing it to Tiani. Tiani drives it in. No good for the layup. Spencer has possession. She tries to dive in and possession of the ball is stolen from Celeste. Spencer will be tossing in the ball. That was a foul caused by number three for Kelo. Possession of ball, Ayla. She goes for the shot, no good. It is rebounded by Hilo and they attempt the shot once again. Ball is saved. Kiana goes for a three, does not make it in, and ball is out on KL Cougars. You know in the paint, you, you can see that um, it's pretty even inside the paint right there. Yeah. Definitely. Especially in terms of height, I think KL, KL has more speed. Especially when I'm transitioning. Substitution will be made by KL Cougars. 21 and 12 will be coming off field as 11 and 14 come on the court. Kiana goes for a three. No good. Ball is rebounded by Ayala Ferry. Attempted shot. No good. Another attempt shot made by Samantha. And a foul will be called on the KL Cougars, number four. And two substitutions will be made for Hilo Vikings, number 10 and 22 is subbed out for 40. Rhea and 11, Mendoza Sua. Shot was made, no good. Hilo has been getting a lot of shot opportunities. They, they have. just don't have the ability to. Uh, they have them. the confidence. That is. That's that key. Is, yeah, that is key. Confidence and aim is key. It's still the first quarter, though. You gotta yeah. warm up. Definitely. No worries just yet. You know. Another substitution will be made from Cal Cougars. Uh, number twelve, Adriana, will be coming back into the game as Vivian will be coming out. Possession of all, Melanie. Melanie drives it in, passing it to number 11, Bell Iban. Melanie passing it to Tiani. Tiani loses control of ball, and it is picked up by Hilo. Tiari. Looking for an open teammate, and she finds it. Ball is passed to Mendoza. Back to one for Hilo. And that pass was questionable, but I believe it was aimed for number 12. Yeah, that's miscommunication right there. You gotta be careful of that. Yeah. And have your eyes on the ball at all times. If you have miscommunication in any sport, then it is something is bound to happen, definitely. More than half of the quarter has gone by, and no team has scored yet. Oh, I was going to say until now. <laughs> that could have been the first That one. could have been the first, first one. Right yeah. Uh, Ella Ferry has the ball. She is being guarded by Melanie. Ball is passed to one. She drives it in. And no good possession of ball, Melanie. She is being double teamed and is stolen back from Hilo. Ella. Passing it over to one. Ball is stolen again as KL Cougars take back possession. What a sequence right now. And it's stolen again by Hilo. Still almost stolen by KL Cougars. And that'll be double dribbled. What a sequence, man. A lot, a lot of stolen right there. Wow. 
a crazy sequence. It is. Great defense right there by both teams, but you can tell both teams are struggling on, on playmaking right now. Yeah. And substitutions on both Hilo and Cal Cougars will be made. Cal Cougars will be in possession of the ball. Mommy Lennard will be coming in and passing it over. Attempted shot by Melanie, but she she's a bit short on that shot. And now number three will have the opportunity to shoot and make the first point on the scoreboard right now. Let's see what she does. Melanie for penalty shot. No good. Clown, I have a question to ask you. Now that, have, now that you have shot a free throw yourself, how difficult is it to shoot one? Okay, it's not that difficult. If I'm being real honest. <laughs> it's really not that difficult. It's not that easy. <laughs> Melanie, second opportunity. She does not get it. And possession is with Hilo. Number one has the ball and is passed to Spencer. Spencer passing it to uh, Mendoza, almost getting stolen. And I don't know what violation happened there, but that'll be Cal Cougar's ball. That'll be a foul. Escobar with the attempt to defense. Three is defending three. Escobar and Melanie. Melanie driving it in. And that is the first point on the scoreboard right now. Made by Keao Cougars. That's a great bucket. I like the bar handling right there. That's yeah. Great. More, than, mo more than half the game in quarter one has gone by. And first point is made by Melanie. Ball is almost stolen. The ball will be stolen by the KL Cougars. Ibon. Possession of ball will be Hilo. He is passing. He is passing in, and it's stolen by the KL Cougars. Almost stolen back from Hilo. Melanie has possession of the ball. That was a close backcourt violation right there. That was. Melanie passes it to Melanie Bond. Ball is overpassed, but still in possession of Calcutters. And Tiani tries to go for the shot, does not make it. Ball is passed to Spencer. Spencer driving it in. Does she make it? No, she does not. Fight for the ball. Cal Cougars has possession. And it is passed to Melanie. She drives it in. And she does not get the layup. She's showing out of bounds right there. She did. And she was guarded by oh, Melanie Bond. Melanie once again on the penalty shot line. I like. She is not. But she'll be. All right, that'll be a number 11 passing in the ball. Belly Bond. Ball is passed to Melanie, though. Attempt three, no good. That's a great look at that jump shot. Unfortunately, she couldn't make it. Yep. 27.7 seconds is on the clock. 27.7 seconds more until this quarter ends. And the ball is stolen by number one. And it's stolen again by Kale Cougars. Melanie, number three. She almost loses possession. Ten seconds remain on the clock. They're trying to kill the timer. Five seconds. Four seconds. Buzzer beater. No and the first quarter ends with Keao Cougars at two and a
and Vikings at zero. Lots of stolens happening in the first quarter. That is <laughs> rare. <laughs> I've never seen so much balls being taken away from the other team in such a short amount of period of time. Wow, what, what, what's your take on this quarter, Cameron? Um, definitely playmaking is an issue on both sides, especially especially with that sequence. You can tell that they didn't know where to really pass to once they got the ball so deep. They were not confident at all getting to the other side of the basket. Um, that's definitely something that needs to be worked on with the coaching staff and the players. So um, let's see in this second quarter if they're going to make any changes because changes are needed yep. to ensure that both teams are going to be on communication and on confidence. Yep, and they definitely need that confidence boost as well. Confidence in any sport is key. That's coming from Kalani, folks. Yes, sir. <laughs> Your boy. And 21 for Calcutters will be passing the ball. It is passed to Melanie. Melanie trying to drive it in. It is passed to Bell Yvonne. Back to Melanie. Back to Tiani. Tiani driving in. Melanie attempts three. No good. And that is going to be out on the Calcutters. I feel like that should have been on Hilo because someone did touch the ball. I don't know. The rest, the rest got a better point of view than me, so I trust what, I trust the refs on this. Unfortunately, we do not have instant replay. Yet. Unfortunately, but soon, soon we will. And those are uh, Sua for the attempt three, and it's no good. Melanie, I feel like she has the ball 24/7. Uh, and she gets another bucket. These four points have been made by That's her. All these points have been made by her so far, so far. She's a big factor for that team. She is. She, she as of right now, is carrying the team on her back. Although everyone has a part in the team. And three-pointer by Ayla Fiari is no good. Substitution will be made. Number four, Celeste will be coming back as Mommy Lennart will be going back on the bench. Get those rest up. And Melanie has the ball. She passed Adriana. And the ball is stolen by number one of Hilo Vikings. As she passed the half court line, she will take it slow. She will pass it to Ayla Ferry. Passing it to Kiana. Ki Kiana driving in. She goes for the shot. Almost. Ball. Melanie has possession of the ball. She almost loses control. Ball is. That pass was meant for Tiana. Overshot. In number two, Toriyama Spencer. And Spencer will be coming back into the court as Ayla Fiari will be going to the benches. Get that rest. Kiana Gauntlet has possession of the ball, almost gets stolen. She is currently being defended by Celeste, and that is going to be out. Celeste passing it to Melanie. Celeste passing it to Tiani. Tiani tries to get the bucket, passing it to Belly Bond. And Belly Bond gets the two points. Hilo has to pick it up. They're already six points behind. I know, and it's almost half, half quarter. Spencer has put it in the ball. The defense on KL is really good. And they get the ball stolen again. Oh, this hustle. Spencer tries to get the ball, but Mel Melanie just has it in her hand. K 
Tiana will be passing in the ball. Passing to Fiari. Trying to look for an open ally. Passed by number one. And the ball is stolen again by Melody. Melody. I thought that was going to be a trouble. I guess not. Number one for Hilo. Spencer has the ball. Attempt shot. Attempt shot made by Spencer. The line shooting, cover line Spencer. I think he don't needs to work on moving like moving with the ball because if you watch them while on offense they're kinda like frozen in in a sense. First point would be registered for the free throw line. Six to one so far. Will she make it six to two? Let's see. Every point matters in this game. Oh, now you're taking four. Spencer, free throw line. Shot. And it's good. Spencer, it is six to two. Timeout. And the first timeout will now be used on the Kao Cougars. What is your take on this second quarter so far as almost more than half of the second quarter has been taken up? Well, you gotta say that Kia Ao has improved. You can tell they already have six points. You have two buckets already in this quarter. You gotta, you gotta like it. Yeah, you gotta, I feel like Melanie yeah. is definitely by far the MVP for her team. Definitely, she is carrying the team on her back. She's the reason why they got first the first four points. Yes. And then you got number 11 spell Yvonne making that jumper on the left. And man, that's that's really big for this team. That is huge, man. You just gotta keep it up. Keep the consistency going. And then um, you'll see progress, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Hilo definitely needs, needs to um, uh, work, work on their uh, shooting, definitely. But uh, do you know, they have like so much time left. Yeah. You know, still get the other half to happen. go to. Anything yeah, anything can happen. happen. And now, I'll be Celeste. Throwing it in. She almost throws it in her own basket, but she passes it to Melody. She is being guarded by number 10, Samantha. Ball is almost stolen. Melanie is positioning the ball again. Ball is passed to Ivan. Back to Melanie. To number 12, Adriana Cruz, and she does not make the ball. Sorry, she does not make the basket. Far pass to Samantha. Attempt layup, no good. Another shot, also no good. Melody has the ball again. Right, she drives it down. She goes for the shot, no good. Melanie has position of the ball. Tiani goes for another shot. No good. Another shot made by Fiel. Celeste. Also no good. And ball is out on Hilo. As number one is not. Does not get the ball. Celeste will be throwing in the ball. Ball passed to Tiani. And rebounded by Hilo. Fiari passing to Kiana. Kiana goes for the three. Almost. Ball. Far pass to Melanie. Melanie loses control of ball. And that will be a travel violation call. It is now more than half of this game. Until second quarter is done, and then we go into halftime. Kiana passes it to Fiari. Taking it slow and steady. She is driving it in. That was a good double team right there. That was. 
Great read by the she defense. Could not find anyone to pass it. Oh, oh, yeah. And substitutions will be made as 21 Mommy Lenard comes in for Gary Bell Yvonne. I'm flabbergasted. Kiana has possession. Trying to find an open ally. She drives it in. Goes for a attempt shot. Does not make it. Celeste gets the rebound. Passing it to Melanie. Melanie loses control of the ball. Unfortunate. What do you think of this matchup so far, Kalani? Um, that's a good question. Ha, ha. Come on, wait. Timeout. That would be a timeout called by Hilo. Now, to answer your question, what what specifically do you want me to answer? Like, what about this matchup do you want me to answer? Like, well, there's a lot of things that you could um, consider. Well, there's there pace, is. playmaking, defense, shooting, um, okay. finishing. I will say, the pace from when it first started, it was a little slow, but it progressively got more faster and faster. That is what I like, cause yeah, and the only time they take it slow is if, like, let's say the the whole game was on the other side and the ball is being passed on the complete other side, they'll they slowly take it slow because you know they don't want to waste their energy by just running there and then they are being defended. They're gonna be tired out from the the, the small jog, you know. Oh, I see you. Yeah. I see you. So that's the only time they they take the pace slow and steady. I agree with that. I think they're they're whenever they have the possession, they're taking it way too fast. They need to slow down their pace a little bit so yeah. that they can um, regain control. Yeah, that is definitely a thing I've been seeing every time. Like, see right here, number two, Fiari. She took it slow and she's progressively getting faster. She is driving it in. Passing it to Kiana, and the ball is almost stolen by Celeste. Possession still in heel, and he <laughs> Kiana will be passing in the ball. Ball is passed to Fiari. She drives it in, wide open. She does not get the layup. Melanie almost has control. She has control of the ball. And that is a travel called by a ref. Kiana will be passing it in again to Fiari. Fiari slowly drives it in. Almost gets almost gets the ball. Oh, these free throws are big. Oh, another free throw line. Fiari. She was on the previous uh, free throw line for her heel too, yeah? Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. So, can she register four points total? No, she will not. But she, can she get three? Very intense. It is. And she will not. Free throw attempts, no good, but it is all right. They still have a minute and seconds until the second quarter ends. Substitutions will be made. Fiery will be coming out of the game. Another violation would be called. I don't know what that one was. Oh, were there too many players on the court? Maybe. Five, three. Oh, yeah, there was. There were six players on the court. Pass to Melody. Travel is called. It's very rare to see six players on the court. A little accident, but it's fine. They can work their way around it. Now 
that'll be a violation call. I think it's starting to get pretty easy for KL to understand their um, offense. You can tell once one once one player gets the ball, they they don't seem to pass out or anything. And then yeah, obviously KL just double teams and then they have and they're forced to pass out. And then they're gonna easily find someone to just steal the ball. Kiana has possession of the ball. She goes for the shot and it's no good. Good shot attempt though. Good shot attempt. That, that's what I've been seeing throughout Hilo. They have they have a lot of shot attempts. And they do do it. Yeah, they do take the opportunity, but they can't capitalize on it, which they need to do. Yeah. It's a work in progress though, everyone. It's a it work is, in progress. It is a work in progress. And then the crowd is now chanting for Hilo. Less than a minute. Is now on the clock. Mami Lenard has the ball, passes it to Ivan. Ivan has possession of the ball. Back to Lenard. To Melanie. Melanie drives it in. No good on the basket. Ball is stolen from Hilo. Kiana has possession of the ball. She is driving it in. She shoots it. Almost makes it. Melanie has possession of the ball. Less than 30 seconds now. Melanie taking it slow. Lenard, Ivan. To Lenard. I believe they are trying to kill the clock. Tiani makes her first basket. And Second quarter will be called. All right, that is it for the first half. Do not go away. The current score is Kaal Cougars six, Hilo High Vikings a two. That'll be eight Kaal Cougars and Vikings at two. We'll be right back to bring you more JV basketball here at the Hilo High School Gymnasium after this break.
Welcome back to the second half of BWIF Girls JV Basketball. Again, my name is Kalani Kilipakawa. And my name is Cameron Kablar, and we are your student commentators for today's matchup of the Hilo High Vikings versus the Kao High Cougars. The current score is Kao Cougars at 8 and Vikings at 2. Current possession of the ball is Melanie. Pass to Mommy Leonard. Ball stolen! Already! In the third quarter, dri driven by number one. Good attempt. Melanie has the ball. She is slowly driving it up. Slow and steady wins the race. Celeste, going for the shot. No good. And that will be Celeste on the penalty shot line. Will she make these two penalty shot lines? The environment is tense and she does not make the first one. Will she make the second one though? Making the score 9 to 2. Does she have better aim than you, Kalani? She probably does. <laughs> really? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I right, just gonna practice on your jumps, out, homie. No worries. And position of the ball is lost. And I'll be Spencer throwing in the ball, and substitutions will be made. Celeste comes out as Naomi comes in. Current possession of the ball would be Fiari. Fiari drives it in. Does she make it? No, she does not. Rebound by Mario Leonard and possession of the ball will be. Possession of the ball will be Kyle Kudis. Melanie drives it in. She takes it fast. Tiani goes for the shot. She doesn't make it. Oh, jump ball right there. That'll be a violation on Hilo. Of substitutions coming in for the game. We have number for Hilo, number 11, Keizane Mendoza Sua. Passing it to Spencer. Spencer taking it nice and steady. And slips between Tiana's grasp as the pass is meant for her. Have you ever caught like a really fast basketball, Kalani? Um, yes, actually. Only twice. Only twice? Two out of 20. <laughs> Two out of 20? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Pass attempts. And the ball is almost made it in by Melanie. And I'll be Hilo's ball. Now, I don't know if it's 20 is the exact number. It's probably lower, but I only say 20 because it's been a while. It's hard to catch, though. Like, yeah. you need to, like, time it properly without, like, hitting, I, hitting I, your I face. I usually just use my chest to bounce up, and then I catch it. Really? You know, like, soccer, you use, they use their chest. Okay, that's actually, that's interesting. Yeah. Anyway, Kiana has the ball. Shoots it, no good. Melanie has the ball. She is being guarded by Kiana hard. Kalani, what did you buy from the Hilo High concession today? Nothing. You bought him two musubis. That is true. That is. Hey, I love to support the team. Buy food, please. Yes, please do. Support our girls basketball team. Not only JV, but also varsity. Show some love and support. And uh, Melanie has the ball right now. Passing it. Ball almost goes out of bounds. Tiana. Sorry, Tiani. What is going on? She almost gets the ball out. It is saved by Melanie. Mommy Leonard. Does not get the three. That was close, though. 
Siani has the ball, passing it to Lennard. Lennard passes it to Melanie. Melanie back to Lennard. Going for the three. No good. A lot of three attempts. You gotta like the attempts though. At least they have to look. Yeah. That means now, that Kiao's now going for more shot attempts now. Yeah, you gotta like that. You can tell that their um their offense has improved. They're moving around with the ball. Get open. Lennard passing it to Melanie. Oh, ball almost gets out of control right there. Johnny gets another one. The only Corpus was open at that corner three, but I guess they found a better opportunity inside the paint. That's yeah. really good looks. If they can't make a three, at least they can make two, sh two point shots. Something is better than nothing. Spencer drives it in. Spencer almost gets it. That was a close on one. Oh, wow. Nice. And Spencer will be on the Penalty shot line. The crowd goes quiet as the players really need to focus because the pressure is all on them. Will she get these two points? First one. Gets it! That's really good. Vikings are now at three points. And I believe all these points have been made by her based on penalty shots. Will she get the second one? All the pressure is on her. She oh, yeah. gets both of them! And Kilo High Vikings are now behind by six. Good job right there by Kyulani Spencer. Yes, sir. Melanie is being double teamed by Escobar and number one for heel, Tiani. Go for a shot, it's no good. Spencer almost loses control, but she regains her focus and control over the ball. She goes for the shot, no good. A lot of shot attempts made by Hilo High, but they're no good yet. Another substitution. And that'll be Lennard. Uh, no, that'll be number 12, Adriana Cruz passing in the ball for Cal Cougars. Ball almost gets stolen. Melanie. Tiani does not get the good the layup. That was a good fast break opportunity right there. Was. Melanie goes for the shot. No good. Ooh, slips through her grasp. Three on three right now, Escobar and Melanie. Johnny drives it in. Shot is good! That's good. I like the confidence on this team. You gotta like the confidence, yeah. The confident boost is up there now. Kilo enters timeout. What do you think so far as it is almost this this third quarter is almost done? Okay, as Kalani enjoys his musubi, I'll take over the commentary. <laughs> but I will say though, you gotta like you gotta like the confidence coming from KO, especially in this third quarter. They are almost up by double digits, and for their shot for their shot opportunities right now are really good. You gotta like what they've been able to find. They've been able to capitalize on some of their shot opportunities, which is really good. Um, on Hilo, um, they've been doing uh, really good. On um, you know playmaking, they've been doing a little better. They just yep. need to start capitalizing on their jump shots and their open opportunities because you can tell that they actually got some in this quarter, but unfortunately they haven't been able to make anything. So hopefully within the third or fourth quarter they'll be able to do something and actually, you know, let's see if this will be a close game or not because it's still like a lot of time yet. Um, can definitely have a comeback yet, so it's not too far. And that will be Cameron Caballar saying his thoughts about this game. Thank you. And ball is almost stolen by Melanie. Spencer has the ball. Attempt shot. She gets capped, though. Number 40. And she gets points on the scoreboard. They're now halfway behind. Melanie has the ball. She is driving it. They know that Melanie is 
probably the best player on Cal. So they're trying to double guard her as much as possible. Ball. Far pass to Melanie. Will she go for the three? No, she will not. She will drive it in. Goes for the shot. And Ooh. it's good. She was guarded wow. by three. And she wow. gets it. Yeah, no, she is really the MVP for Cal. She's carrying the team on her back. You love to see it, man. You, you love do. to see it. Hard defense from Hilo. And oh, be, nice move. That was almost a travel. Number 12 overshoots it. That was a great attempt, though. I that like was. That. Wow. Melanie again has the ball. I'm surprised she is not tired yet. She is on the court 24 7. The only rest she got was halftime, and I believe that is the only rest she needs. Yeah, she's on fire, man. She's if a you, tank right now. If you look at their bench, they only have two reserves, so yeah. I think they have to do. They have to, they do have what's to work best. with what they got. Yeah. Ball slips. Escobar gains the ball. All right, save right there. Yeah, passed to Ayla Ferry. Pass number one, which we do not have the name on the roster, unfortunately. I apologize. And she attempts a shot, but it's not good. Nice save. Fiori. Ooh, juking her out. Number one has the ball. Drives it in. Trying her best. Ooh, pass to Escobar, but she was blocked. Miscommunication right there. Yep. Substitutions coming in. Number 10, Samantha Perazda will be coming in for Alan Escobar. The ball will be passed to Melanie by Leonard. Oh, right here. I think there was another miscommunication, but KL calls timeout. I think that was the right move right there since there was nowhere to go with the ball. So that was a really nice uh, really nice timeout right there. Smart timeout right there by the coach of KL. Yep, strategical retreat, as one would say. Did you finish your Musubi already, Kalani? Yeah. Wow. How was it? Honestly, it was pretty good. I could... I don't know if um, I think they ha they like put it, put it in shoyu a little bit. I can't tell though. It's probably a different brand of spam, but it, it's still good. Hey man, heal high concession man. Support the team. They make great food out here. Thank you to the parents out there that are helping out with concession. Yes. And thank you to everyone who is uh, supporting. It is greatly appreciated. And Cal will have position of the ball. Melanie, once again, has the ball and she'll pass it to Adriana. Melanie passes it to Bell Iban. Oh, close up with dribble. Passes to Tiani. Cruz passing it to Melanie. And that'll be a foul call, I believe. Yep. <laughs> Leonard will be throwing the ball in. We have and Kiana Golod coming in for Hilo. Oh, oh, that's a good opportunity right there. Number one for Hilo, driving it in. Ball is passed to Samantha. Passed to number 12 for Hilo. And she gets a three point. That was not. That was two points, but still good. Ball is lost. Control. And that will be power foul on Spencer. I believe they head to head. Head, head, com yeah. head, head combat. Head to head collision. Yeah. Oh, man. That, that's scary, especially running at the speed that you're going. Um, yeah. You gotta be careful. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. Spencer, gonna hurt. I believe, might be out of the game. Hopefully, not for the entire game. Hopefully, not too severe, though. Yeah. Definitely. That's, that's scary. Yeah. And I believe it was Spencer that made collision contact with Lennard. 
both of the players will of course be on the bench. Hopefully they can get they can get it together and heal up from their injuries. Number one for Hilo has the ball. He is currently being defended by two people. Kiana! Unfortunate. She she tried to grab the ball, but it slipped between her hands. Right back. Right it back, happens, right back. Man. It yeah. happens. 35 seconds remain on the clock. 30 seconds. Melanie almost getting the bucket. And now will be out by Kale Cougars. Oh, I see Nicholas Godonis and Richard Gonzalez in the back operating that camera. Yes, yeah, so shout out to them. Hard working. Kiana Gauntlet has the ball. They're trying to kill time. 15 seconds remain. I almost said 15 minutes. 10 seconds remain. Kiana almost loses control of the ball. She regains it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is third quarter. No shot was made. Ooh. Third quarter, what's your thoughts? And the third quarter, um, you know, definitely a lot of improvement from both teams. You gotta love it. Um, well, it's a it's a six point, you know, six point lead for the Cougars. So they definitely have the opportunity to, um, um, you know, continue their dominance, or the Vikings will just come back and take over. They might. Who knows? And as I am talking right now, Presley and Aaron is currently at my favorite store in Ala Moana, Uniqlo. I yeah. just got the photo right now <laughs> as we are live. And if you don't know, K Vikes is currently at a shoot summit in Oahu. And right now, like I think they're having a lot of fun. They're currently in they Ala are. Moana. Who, who wouldn't have fun at Ala Moana? You know, it's fun. But like I like I really like how um, we, they got invited for a summit and I really think yeah. that's cool. So shout out to them. Shout out to the guys, they're all the way at Oahu. And yeah, man. It's not fair that they're at Uniqlo, man. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day. Okay. Fourth and last quarter before the switch to varsity. Tiani has the ball. Shot, no good. Melanie goes for the shot. Ooh, bounces off and inside the rim. Kiana has possession. She drives it. She goes for a deep three, almost making it in. Tiani gets the rebound. Melanie has control. She drives it in. Oh, that was she close. almost makes it with three people on her. And fight for the ball. Oh, and a surprise, surprise, Spencer is now back on that court, playing for her team. She made a fast recovery with the head-to-head -head collision. Spencer passing it to number one. Layup! Oh, oh that no. was so close. Yeah, I think, I think they're starting to find their groove. They are. This could be interesting. Number one will be on the the what is it called again? I had a brain fart. Free throw line. Free throw line. Free throw line. Yeah, yeah. Penalty shots. She. Oh, ah. Oh, that was. Yeah, that's close. Lenard will be coming back into this fourth quarter. She also makes a fast recovery of with the head-to-head -head collision. She goes for a shot, and it's good! Ball is passed to Melanie. She is being heavily guarded by number one. Melanie passing to Tiani. 
No good. That was a great pass from that corner, man. That was, that was a great pass. That was great communication on both players right there. And that'll be Tiani on the free throw line. Oh, close. So, Kalani, you were shooting earlier, right? Why do uh, you think the ball goes on, like, the side instead of the middle when you shoot? Like, why does it go towards the side of the rim instead of, like, in the middle? When it bounces off the back rim? No, like, on the side of the rim. Like, why do you think that happens? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, never, never mind, Kalani. All right, that shot was good. <laughs> 15. <laughs> you could feel Confusing me, bro. Ball is passed. Is that a foul right there? I believe so. Oh, Cougars foul. And I'll be Mendoza Sua on the free throw line. It's still a six point game, folks. Anything can happen. Yep. Anything can happen. I'm very excited, actually. Mm -hmm. Jump throw. No good. She hits the back rim. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say jump throw? <laughs> Sorry, jump shot. <laughs> Sorry. That was a jump shot. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Will she make this other shot? Oh, she looks focused. She does not. And Cal Cougar is the half possession of the ball. The ball is passed to Melanie. Melanie tries it in. Tiani wide open. She signals. Now it's to see. Miomi also wide open. Oh, good look. Oh, she had the opportunity to shoot right there. Yeah. Oh! The ball is almost. It is out. Oh, she traveled. Nice hustle, though. That nice was a nice hustle. hustle. Yeah, nice hustle by Tiani. But just an unfortunate travel, man. Spencer has the ball. Oh! Oh, stolen! Melanie. Is that another travel? Yep, that is another travel card right there. It's really hard inside because you have to make sure that you do take two steps only. Yeah. And then, like, especially if you do like a hop step layup, then you have to make sure both your feet lap at the exact same time to go for it to kind of like one step. Kiana. Goes for a shot, no good. Just barely above the rim. That's a big opportunity. Naomi has the ball. Sorry. Cruz. Shot, no good. Tiani passes it to Belly Bond. Ball is passed back to Melanie. Two players are open. Ball is stolen by Hilo. And that will be a foul. I don't think there's any time for the Vikings to come back for me. Yeah, anything can happen. Oh, <laughs> nice <laughs> shot. <laughs> she has a really clean jump shot. She does. I'll give her that. Melanie is MVP for Cal Cougars. It's a... It's a... Oh my gosh. I can't do that. It's an 8 point lead. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Oh, nice try. 
Oh, nice pass to number one. Let's see if they can score this possession, guys. Ball. Almost stolen by Melody. The ball will be passed in by Spencer. Kiana has the oh, shot. close wood. Yeah. Ball stolen by Tiani. Melanie. Three people oh. on her. Yeah, that's a trap. She moved that pivot oh, foot. She moved that. She moved her back foot. And yeah, man, it's a travel. Oh, I'm parking it. And I'll be Kiana passing it into Spencer. Taking it nice and slow. Passing it to Kiana. And the ball is lost. That was a nice, that was a nice look right there. That was a really nice um, pass inside. Tiani shouts for a ball as she gets the oh, ball. Man. Great look, guys. Great, great look. It's now a 10 point lead. That was a nice call by Tiani. She was wide open and she had the confidence, the confidence to shoot that ball. Layup attempts, no good. Now will be Kilo violation. Well, I believe this is Kamel Neha coming in. Ball. Almost hitting one of our cameramen. Tiani will be passing the ball. Melanie has possession. More than half of the game has been spent. Melanie looking for an opportunity. Ball is passed back to Melanie. Pass to Lennard. To Melanie. D3. No good. Oh! Nice shot. Spencer has possession. That'll be a timeout made by Hilo. 12 point lead, Kalani. What are your thoughts? Um, I'd say that uh, Hilo definitely needs some work, and so does Cal. Um, there's always room for improvement, even if you're succeeding. Yeah, man, definitely. There's um, there's always room for improvement. Um, they still have a lot, a lot more games to go, I believe. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let's see what they can do before the season ends. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, I feel like it may be a little too late, but hey, anything happens. You saw the stealing. You saw the sequence right there, just yep. the ball was just going back and forth across the court. Hey, hey, Richard, that's the camera up. Hey, what's good, y'all? Yep. Yeah. All right, so two minutes, 48 seconds left. Let's see what can happen. Stay tuned. Yeah, definitely. Woo! Have you fun, Kalani? Yeah. Hell yeah. Kiana. Ooh, deep pass to number one. Basket almost getting in. Possession of ball stolen by Kilo. Escobar gave it to number one. Spencer has possession. 
Spencer! Does not get this. Yep. Pause past the Spencer by Fiari. Basket! Almost good. And Tiani! Passing it to Melanie. Melanie has the ball. Guarded by number three for our, heel, for our team. Escobar. Tiani has the ball. Ball is slipped by Cruz. Melanie. Being guarded by Escobar once again. This is our main scorer, guys, right here with the ball. MVP for KL Cougars. Passing it to Celeste. Passing it to Leonard. Leonard passing it all the way back to Melanie. Melanie shoots. No good. Tiani shoots. No good. Again. Tiani oh. gets the shot. Third time's the charm. Spencer has possession. Yana has the ball. She shoots and she scores! 11 points from Hilo. I think that's her first bucket of the game. That is. After so much attempts, she finally got it in. Melanie has the ball. Again, guarded by Escobar. Escobar passing it to Cruz. Cruz passing it back to Melanie. Melanie looking, trying to kill off the timer. Ball is passed back to Melanie for Cruz. Oh, Celeste goes for the shot, no good. Rebounded by Leonard. I really think they're just going to hold the ball. They are. You hear the coach yell, hold the ball, and I think that's what they're going to do. 15 seconds oh. left. Oh, oh. fight for the ball. Escobar! Wow, great hustle I feel like right there. Escobar is the only one that has the guts to go up against Melanie. That's good hustle right there. That is good hustle, man. Eight seconds left on the clock. Celeste passing it to Melanie. She's just going to hold it. Three. Two, one, and that is the end of the JV game. Kale Cougars, 23 and Kilo Vikings, 11. What a game, what a game, what a game. Yeah. What's your thoughts on this entire game? Uh, this is a great, great job by Kale. Full on dominant performance, as you can see. Yep. They did really good on shooting. They improved their playmaking and defense. Hilo still has to has a lot to work on yet, but they did really good on they keeping well. keeping up. Definitely, it was really hard to um, um let's call it, like keep like I guess defensively and offensively it was really hard for them to uh, you know stay on their players. And uh, yeah, great job by them. Yep, and that that wraps up our live stream of B I F J V Girls Basketball. With the final score of Cal Cougars at 23 and Hill High School, 11. If you are watching this on YouTube or Facebook, help us out by liking this video and also subscribe to our channel to get notified when we go live next. See our broadcasting schedule and all other athletic competition notices on our official website, hilohigh.org. Follow KVikes Media at KVikes Media on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and learn more about our program at kvikes.org. On behalf of our broadcasting team, directed by Lutty and produced by KVikes Media, Yo. signing off from the Hilo High School Gymnasium, my name is Kalani Kalipa and my name is Cameron Kobalar. And remember, once a Viking, always, always a Viking. Viking. Aloha. Aloha! Make sure to stay tuned because it is senior night. Woo! The broadcast is brought to you by students of Hilo High School, KFX Media.